Welcome to our lecture online. Now that we know what a factor is, can we explain what factoring is? Well, it turns out there's, of course, a close relationship, but here's a good definition of it. Factoring is a process. It's the process of taking a number or an expression or a polynomial and writing it as a product of its factors. It's actually what we would call the reverse of applying the distributive property. Now, in its simple form, we have some examples on the right. For example, we can have a cubed and write it as a times a times a. Since these three a's are the factors of a cubed, we can write it as a product of its factors. Or abc can be written as a times b times c. Or 2xy squared can be written as 2 times x times y times y. Or 60 can be written as 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. So these are the factors of 60. But it's more commonly used to do something like this, to take a polynomial, a binomial, a trinomial, whatever it is, and write it as a product of its factors. In other words, in the case here, we have two terms, 3x squared y plus 6x cubed y squared, and we can see that 3x squared y is, is a common factor to both of these terms. So we can pull out, as we call it, or factor out that common factor. So we can write it as 3x squared y times the quantity 1 plus 2xy. If we now go ahead and apply the distributive property and multiply the 3x squared y times the 1, and then we multiply the 3x squared y times the 2x times y, then we get the original expression back. Notice that 3x squared y times 1 gives us 3x squared y, and 3x squared y times 2xy gives us 6 times x cubed times y squared. And so we, we get back what we originally started with. So the process of going from here to here is called factoring. The process going from here back to here is called using the distributive property or applying the distributive property. Same over here. Notice we have a polynomial of three terms or a trinomial. We can write this trinomial as the product of two binomials. This is called factoring taking a trinomial like this and writing as a product of its two factors or as a product of two binomials. So this process is called factoring. And of course, if you go the other direction, what we can do is we can multiply the x times the x and the 2. So we distribute the x over the two terms here. Then we distribute the 3 over the two terms there. When we multiply everything out, then add common terms. We should get back what we started with. Let's try it and see what happens. So x times x is x squared. x times 2 is plus 2x. 3 times x is plus 3x. And 3 times 2 is plus 6. If we then combine like terms, we get x squared plus 5x plus 6. And we get back what we started with. So in other words, factoring is taking this trinomial and writing as the product of its two binomials or its two factors. And then going in the other direction, we're multiplying everything out using the, the, the distributive property. That's hard to say sometimes. Then we get back what we started with. And so hopefully this, un, this explains and helps us understand what we mean by the concept of factoring. And that is how it's done.